Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So for today's video, I'm going to try and make a terrarium using the gorgeous butterfly skies from Planners Anonymous. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right, this is probably the most experimental kind of video I've ever done. Um, it's not really an experiment, we are making something, but you know, I've, I've, I don't know if this is gonna work. I have absolutely no idea. So what I wanted to do, as soon as I saw these stamps, as soon as I saw these stamps, I wanted to do something with the layers of the butterfly. Now, if you remember a couple of weeks, or a couple of months, or maybe a month ago now, I did a really cool dashboard using layered stamps. And had I known this was coming, I would have done that with this, but I didn't know. So <laughs> I have to come up with a whole other project using these. So what I thought I'd do is try and make a terrarium. I've seen them before on, on YouTube and on Instagram and they look really cool. I just don't know if I'm actually capable of making one, but I'm gonna give it a shot because these butterflies deserve to be shown off. So I am going to start off with the stamping of the butterflies. And what I'm gonna do is stamp a bunch of the solid images in a bunch of different Distress Oxide colors. Now I'm just using an, a vellum off cut because it doesn't need to be a fancy bit of vellum because we're going to cut it up anyway. And then I'm just going to sort of rotate between the two sort of stamp, like not stamp, things like the bases of this, um, the base of the butterfly. So I've got a couple of different oxide colours here. I've got a purple, I've got two blues, I've got a pink and I've just added in a yellow. I think they're the colours I want to use. I'm kind of moving actually you know what let's use the actual colors from in in the kit so we won't go too far so we have a, a we need a green need a green please he's getting angry at me um you need to pull it out a bit more can i have pine needles that's at the back and we get rid of the yellow so we've got a dark green i'm not going to use the black because i'm going to use the black in the in the kit i've got a purple got a pink and I've got a teal so I might just take out the blue and then I think I'll be okay I may change my mind on that green it may be too dark but we'll soon find that out um, now stamping on acetate doesn't not acetate vellum doesn't always work it's, it's sometimes a little slippery so my my suggestion with it is load it up put it down and put it down once and that's it don't don't try to push too hard don't try to wiggle it just put it down once leave it for a second to kind of fill up and then pull off now because it is oxide and because it is vellum it's going to sit on top of it so what i'm going to do is stamp all of the ones i want out i'm just going to stamp two of each color or two of one of each color in each design so there'll be two of each color i think that will be enough um, and, but I'm going to leave them to dry before we go putting the, the second layer on any of these. So again, just pushing it down, trying not to move it. And the inconsistencies of the stamp, I think, is what's going to make it look really cool. I'll show you in a second sort of what it can do. I'll, I'll do an example of a, a bad stamp over on the side. Now if you want to, you can mix these colours up if you didn't want to have all solid colours. If you wanted to have maybe a, a half pink, half purple, we could definitely do that. Half teal, half pink would look really cool too. So I'll just show you with the green, sort of what, it, it just, it slides really easily. So it's just put it down once, let it sit there and, and that's really all you need to do. stamping with the colors so now that I've got those I'm gonna leave them off to the side to dry oh, that looks so cool. I love the way it kind of looks like it's smush water I think that's really cool while that's drying we're gonna start working on the on the terrarium if you wanted to you could just heat that like do that with a heat tool and it would be fine um, this is a, a light jar 
that I got last year from Kmart. Um, unfortunately, I don't think you can get them this year. I haven't seen them at Kmart. It doesn't mean anything, but I haven't seen them. Um, now, you could leave the lights in. The lights would be fine. I just find I can't get them to sit where I want to, and I think this will look better without the lights. So I'm just going to pull the lights out. So I've just taken the battery pack out, and I'll just pull the lights through because they're all tangled. This may take a second, but that's okay. So to do the base, I've got myself some foam. I did buy some foam balls. I was originally hoping that this would be a bit smaller. I wasn't planning on using the terrarium, the jar. I was planning on using a, a like a jar from Kmart. Couldn't find one, one were all sold out. So I'm just improvising with what I've got. So I'm just gonna use some of this foam just with my pencil. Just gonna mark out that and cut it out just using a craft knife doesn't need to be perfect we're going to cover it up anyway and all I'm doing is being careful I don't get my glass mat because I don't want to scratch it so I'm just going to trim or keep pulling some off until I'm happy with the shape lucky enough to have a Ryan on hand with the Dyson then cleaning up is easy but otherwise it, it's a bit messy uh, so the other stuff I got which I have never used before and all I know so far is it makes a heck of a mess which is why I put it into another bag is this artificial moss I was hoping for green spotlight didn't have it so I just went with this sort of ready orangey kind of thing I figure it looks a bit like a but it's still moss it's just a different colored moss and I'm hoping that this makes sense because I have no idea what to do with this stuff. So I'm just going to take my stuff out and let's sort of see. Well, I thought it came as a bit more of a, like a carpet kind of thing. It just sort of seems to be a big mess. smaller I should be able to fit the, the moss on top of it. I told you guys I didn't know what I was doing. This is very much a let's just see what happens when we try and create random things. I thought it was like a carpet thing because now I don't know how to stick it on. Do I have to do it with hot glue? All right, so I'm going to try and stick this down. I'm just going to use some of my Tombow glue. I don't know if this will work, but some of this down all around it. Just try and cover it up the best I can. Okay, well the Tombow glue is not working at all. It's sticking to my finger, but it's not sticking to the glue. All right, Tombow glue not working, so I'm going to try hot glue, because hot glue always works. Whenever I'm using hot glue, I just like to stick a piece of paper down on my surface, so that way it doesn't drip somewhere it's not supposed to. So I'm just going to wait for this to heat up, and then I'm going to put a bunch of glue on here and try and stick this moss down and cover the ball up. So I'm going to fast forward through all of that so you guys don't have to sit through that tedious process and I'll be right back.
So except for one exceptionally sore finger. Um, I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't like that it's all stuck to my fingers, but I'll get over that. So I'm just going to tidy this up really quick. <laughs> tidy it up really quick and I'll be right back. Alright, we've tidied. <laughs> I'm not happy with this, but I'm not unhappy with this. It's just sort of a, it wasn't what I was expecting. You could be a bit more careful with it and sort of have a bit more glue and get all the little white bits covered. I don't think I need to. I think I'm okay. I think I can live with it. So, all of our vellum is now dry. So we can start stamping on the top layers of the butterflies if I can find my ink. So there's a couple of different sort of bits to this. You could do it, there's like two three different sort of elements to them so you can either have them as the the sort of just the the body and the, the lines or you can have some of the sort of more solid lines or there's some spots on here as well I'm just gonna do a bit of a combination of all of them and I'm just gonna use black ink now you guys have seen before that I have used uh, Heidi Swap toner ink for this and it works really really well obviously not using these stamps but same general gist um, so you can do that as well if you wanted to, if you wanted these to be foiled instead of just plain black. I'm really happy with them being just plain black this time, but you can add foil if you wish. Now this is going to be the same as with the Distress Ink, Distress Oxide, sorry. Just try and hit it once and that's it. Just line it up through your block and do the as close as you can. All these ones are going to be the same. And then the ones on the outside, I'll add in some will be the spots and some will be the stripes. And it doesn't matter if you get the outline sort of not quite in the right spot, because it will still look really cute. Actually, I'm going to try the stripes with a little bit of white ink. Just to just to try something different. So this is my Versa Magic pigment white ink. I'll just give it a try. It might not work, but I don't love it, but it'll be fine. Oops, that doesn't go on there. Okay, so now I'm gonna let that dry. This time I'm gonna be impatient and I'm gonna hit it with my heat tool. Then we're just going to cut these little butterflies out. Again, not being too careful with it. I don't want them to look perfect. I am being careful where I put both my finger and the scissors because they are still, they're not wet, but they're just a little bit damp. And I don't want to accidentally smudge this if I can avoid it. I think it's just the purple one that's still a little bit, a little bit wet. But I'm just going around the outside just getting that main sort of shape. So I'm going to do that with all of them and I'll be right back. Alright. So I think what I like about doing them on the vellum is that you can obviously see both sides but there's like a funny... It's like a shift in colour. It's... it's like the green has kind of gone teal. Maybe I had them all, all on the wrong side. Maybe that's why they looked funny. No idea. But the green ones look green again now and the teals look teal. Okay. So what I had thought of doing is using some uh, really thin wire to kind of put these in the terrarium. Unfortunately, I can't find it. Um, it's in this room somewhere, but I don't know where. So instead I'm going to use these little strips of acetate. So I actually had cut these. These were the insides from some of the stencils that I cut um, a really long time ago. Um, <laughs> I actually can't remember how long ago that was. But these are the inside bits and I've just kept them. So all I'm going to do is grab out my little mini glue dots. 
and use these to attach the butterflies to the little bits of acetate. So I'm just grabbing the little glue dot. I folded the butterfly in half because I want it to sort of look a bit more three dimensional. I've got the little glue dot on the back. I'm not so worried about touching this now, I'm pretty sure it's dry. And then just sticking the little acetate bit on the back, give it a bit of a pinch. And then we've got the little butterfly is now stuck and will kind of float and flutter. And we'll just put these in, I'll trim them off at different lengths so that they go, sort of sit at different heights. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fold all of these up, stick the acetate bits on, and then we'll come back together to put, a, put them together. this is some of them have curled because they all look a little bit different then I can just start putting these into the foam now the foam's going to be a little bit hard so I'm going to use my tweezers to kind of help me guide this in a little bit sharp edge on it and then it seems to work but it just didn't want to do it with a flat edge. And I'm not worried too much if it sort of flops like that because when we put the jar on top it should sit up a bit higher. So I'm just going to go ahead and put all of these in just at different heights and different angles. I'm still having a little bit of trouble so I'm just going to use my craft knife to open up a little bit of the foam. plastic would be strong enough to just kind of go in the side of the foam but apparently the foam ball is too dense whenever I put the tweezer in it just kind of falls over see that's sort of not doing what I wanted it to do keep trying because I don't like to give up on stuff I'm just pushing the the acetate a little bit further in it's gonna take the the fluttering away a little bit they're not going to sort of look like they're floating as much but I think they'll sit nicer if that makes sense and I'm just shoving them in using the tweezers now once they're in the foam it's okay it's just getting them into the foam I'm still using the point Also trying not to knock the moss off because the moss isn't stuck on really well it's okay but this is not what I has envisioned in my head but it might still work something it, it's just it's not what I had in my brain it's not what I had in my brain but you kind of get the gist what I and and had I had a jar instead of this dome thing I think it would have been better because it you wouldn't have all this sort of height missing I did think of putting some on like sticking little glue dots and having them hanging 
from fishing wire but or fishing line but because the vellum's so light there's nothing to hold the weight down so they end up just sort of dang it just doesn't work it just doesn't work the only thing, other thing I'm trying to decide because I want to stick like a quote in here that will kind of give it a little bit of something else I'm just trying to I really love I really love this quote this um this one here says but what if you fly or just what if you fly I'm just thinking though if I just put that in there it'll look a bit silly I don't want to stick it to the back. Oh, that might work. Oh no, because it's because it's domed. Yeah, but if I put it at the bottom, you're not going to see it. I'm just going to try. Just a little bit of glue tape at the bottom. So it, it is kind of in the dome, but it's right at the. Well, it's only being stuck at the bottom, so it doesn't actually damage the card. But it's not sticking. tape doesn't work this is where wire would be better because we know that these aren't going to be strong enough all right so I found I don't keep too many plain boring paper clips in my in my office I tend to have you know the the fancy kind of good looking ones so I didn't think I'd find this in here but I have got a I have got a plain Kind of paper clip that I've straightened out in the past or curved in the past to be something else. I'm just going to see if I can use this to kind of stick this in the middle. You're still going to see that bit of it, but it might be okay. So I'm just trying to straighten this out because it's a bit. I'm just using a bit of washi tape. I'm going to use the washi tape from the set so that it kind of, if you do see it from the back, which I'm hoping no one ever will, but... Well, it does something more for the space. It kind of makes it look not quite so crazy or so empty at the top, but I still, do, I still don't like it. But you kind of get what I'm trying to do with it, and I'm... It's not the butterflies, it's it's the, the materials that I have chosen to use. So it's the foam that's not working and it's the acetate that's not working. If I could find my little ream of wire, which I have here somewhere, I swear, I just can't find it. I think it would look a lot easier, a lot better, and the butterflies would have sat where I wanted them to because I could have actually put them in where I wanted. But that kind of gives you the gist. I'm hoping it will kind of inspire you enough to kind of get where I was trying to go with it. Um, Obviously, I could I could sit here and keep playing with it and keep trying to make it work, but I think that's about as good as it's going to get. I was just sitting here looking at what I've got on my desk and what you could do if you didn't want to do the dome thing, which it just kind of jumped into my brain. This is just a little plant that I have here on my desk. Like you could easily get a, a ball that's a little bit smaller, shove that in there, and you could use the same kind of techniques to make the butterflies but they'd stick up without the glass thing on top. I actually think that would have been better. I don't know why I didn't think of it until now. But there are ways you could make something like this work. And I really wanted to show you how gorgeous these butterflies were, especially when you did stamp them onto the vellum because it does give it that sort of fluttery look. Like even if you just give this a wobble, you can kind of get the fluttery look. It just doesn't quite, it doesn't quite work. It doesn't quite work. I need that green one to be not behind. There we go. Oh, bugger. This is why you don't play with it. If I find my wire in the next couple of days, I will redo this and put a picture put a picture up on Instagram just to show you, because it would be really easy to fix. It's just I, I need a little bit. I need to find my wire. It's here somewhere. I swear it's here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. But that is it for today's failure video. <laughs> I think it's really important to show you guys when I do try things and fail, because I do try things and fail. I do it a lot. Um, but just because I failed doesn't mean the idea isn't right. The idea is right, it's just the execution that's wrong. So it's so something maybe I need to play with a little bit more. And like I said, if I do happen to fix it, um, I will put it up on Instagram. So make sure you're following me there. 
uh, and you'll see any update to this video. I love the butterflies in this kit. I cannot wait to use this in my planner. It will be very, very soon. I'm just obviously waiting till after December. Uh, so it's not sort of the Christmas theme. And then I'll be using the gorgeous butterfly skies in my planner. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one when it goes up. If you did enjoy this kind of failure video, please let me know down below. Or you can just give it a thumbs up and then I know you liked it. If you didn't like it, feel free to give me a thumbs down. I, I get just as much feedback from the thumbs downs as the thumbs ups. So feel free to give those to me too if you feel like it. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day, whatever you get up to. And I will catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.